All right, guys, we're going to be uh, covering how to convert some master blend powder into a liquid concentrate. So I'll be using uh, two of these vitamin water bottles. They're like 17 ounces, which converts over to 500 milliliters. And with these two bottles, we can make up to 50 gallons of master blend full strength. And when I talk full strength, I'm talking about an EC of uh, 2.3. So I made up this cheat sheet so you can take a look at it and I'll sh it'll be showing exactly what I'll be mixing up. So you can pause the video here and uh, look at the formula in the middle to see exactly how I came up with my numbers. So let's start mixing this up and I'll show you how fast it goes. As I got my two helpers here as they're always just hanging out. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at the time. So we'll start this 627. So I'll go ahead and fill up these bottles halfway with RO water as you got to leave space for the uh, powder. And also be sure you're only using reverse osmosis water. And if you don't have access to that, then uh, use some distilled water. And you can buy a gallon of distilled water at Walmart for like three bucks. And here I just threw them in the microwave for about 30 seconds just to warm up the water because it makes the uh, powder break down much easier. Also, you can just throw it on the kettle on the stove and warm it up for about a minute. I'm just trying to save time here, so I just threw them in the microwave. And they're just lukewarm. So on to the next step as we'll start weighing out the powder. So I'll start off with the master blend first. Um, and I'll be weighing out 120 grams of master blend and I'm just pouring it into a 9 ounce solo cup here And as you can see we got hundred and twenty grams of a uh, master blend weighed out And next I'm just going to uh, pour the master blend into the uh, bottle And I'll start off by pouring half the cup in there and shake it up Mix it up a bit and then uh, I'll pour the other half and then finish mixing it by shaking it. And you need to continue to shake it until all the uh, powder is dissolved into the liquid. So next we're just going to go ahead and uh, weigh out the uh, Epsom salt. We need 60 grams of Epsom salt. So we'll just weigh that out. And you can see we got our 60 grams of Epsom salt. So now we're ready to add it to the uh, master blend bottle. So we'll just open up our uh, master blend bottle. And then we'll start beginning to pour the Epsom salt into the bottle. Once you get it all in there, put the cap back on and make sure you shake it. Shake it till all the powder is dissolved then you can fill uh, the rest of the bottle up with the water to the top and again I'm filling this with RO water you just want to use RO water or distilled water you do not want to use regular tap water All right, so we're just gonna get our calcium nitrate and we're gonna weigh that out we need 120 grams and then we can pour it into our uh, vitamin water bottle and as you can see we got our 120 grams of calcium nitrate ready to go so we'll just repeat the previous process. We'll just pour in the calcium nitrate into the water and then we'll make sure that we shake it up really well to make sure that uh, all the powder is dissolved. And once it looks good, we'll top the rest of the bottle off with the RO water. And we should be good to go. And there we go. We got our master blend with our Epsom salt in the, that bottle. And over here we got our calcium nitrate. And let's look at the time, 6.39. Yeah. And if you recall, we started at 6.27, so I was able to mix all this up in uh, 12 minutes, even while filming, so you can even do it quicker than that. And here I'm just adding a couple of labels with uh, painter tapes that just show, you know, 10 mLs per gallon. After letting this settle, I could see that I didn't mix the uh, Epsom salt and uh, Master Blend enough as there was a little bit of uh, Epsom salt at the bottom. And since I already topped off the bottle with water, I ended up just opening up the bottle and pouring it into my Ninja Blender, which mixed it up great. And I'll be using uh, this way in the future. And I just mixed it up for about 20 seconds and that did the job. And maybe you don't even need to use the warm water and you can just mix it in here. I need to find that out in the future. 
So I just went ahead and then also mixed up the calcium nitrate while I was at it. And again, I just mixed it up for about 20 seconds. And once it was done mixing, then I just poured it back into the uh, bottle and topped off the bottle with some RO water. Let the bottle set for a minute. And as you can see, we can put it up to the light and you can see that uh, all the powder has been dissolved. This is the calcium nitrate. Now let's take a look at the uh, master blend and the Epsom salt. This was the original, original one that I had an issue with, but as you can see now, it's all mixed up. So the blender worked good, great. So we're almost done here. The next thing is just to make a gallon of the uh, concentrate and check DC to see that it's correct. So I just filled up a gallon milk jug halfway with uh, just regular tap water. And now I'm going to take out uh, 10 ml of the master blend and add it to the uh, milk jug. Then I'll just give the syringe a quick rinse and then uh, we'll get the uh, calcium nitrate and measure out 10 ml and add that to the uh, milk jug. And then from there we'll just uh, top off the milk jug. Let's put it back in the sink and fill it up with just uh, regular tap water. And then we'll uh, mix it up and then we'll uh, take an EC read and see where we're at. And it looks like we got an EC of 2.2, which is uh, close enough for me. Looking good. So now I'm going to go ahead and check the pH and see where we're at after adding the uh, Master Blend Concentrate. And it looks like we're at a 6.9 pH after adding the uh, concentrate. And I'm going to go ahead and use some distilled white vinegar because that's all I got on hand to uh, lower the uh, pH. So I'm going to take out about 10 ml. And what I came up with my setup is uh, 1 ml of vinegar will uh, lower the pH by 1 tenth. So we started at 6.9, I'll put in these uh, 10 mLs and then we should get a reading around 6.0, 5.9, but let's see. And it looks right on the money, because if you look back, I put in about 9 mLs of vinegar. I didn't put in 10, so it's at a 6.1. That's fine, that's close enough for me. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up another gallon, but only use 5 mLs. So I'm curious, so I'm, I'm just going to test out my tap water and just see what my plain tap water, what the EC is on it. So as we can see, my plain tap water without anything in it is a 0.9. And I also tested out my pH, it's been sitting in here for about 3 minutes. So as we can see, my standard tap water with before anything's added is at a 7.5. All right, so we'll just go ahead and add the uh, 5 mLs of the uh, Master Blend Concentrate. And then we'll go ahead and add the uh, 5 mLs of the uh, Calcium Nitrate Concentrate. And then we'll go ahead and uh, top off the milk jug and then uh, shake it up, mix it up, and then we'll uh, go ahead and take an EC read and see where we're at. And as you can see, we're getting an EC of uh, 1.5 when using the 5 mLs. And really, this is my go-to for all my house plants and my uh, mini downspouts at the moment. The 1.5 EC is uh, working out well. So I'm just going to go ahead and feed my house plants and. Uh, Feed some of the mini downspouts and call it a day and have a good one.
And I also added this uh, same mix to my rain gutter grow system here. And as you can see, the basil's looking really healthy. And I also been adding the same EC at 1.5 to my mini downspouts. And as you can see, the plants in there are looking really good also. So until next time, we'll see you and have a good one.